Hello everyone, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Like I said before, there are multiple characters, each one activated by a chapter page. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Frazier's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos, and to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh, flesh and bone. And you have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damned beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. Ellie is a Cambodian slave girl and court dancer, and she is voiced by Kim My Guest. Here's another example of the circle of power. Another way to think of it is that Chaturga is rock, Ulioth is paper, and Zelatoth is scissors, which brings a lot of interesting metaphors to mind. No character can do magic on their own without first picking up the Tome of Eternal Darkness. However, some characters have items that may heal their sanity, magic, or health. The traps in these hallways are pretty easy to avoid as long as you don't step on these obvious lightened squares. This is our first encounter with an Ulioth zombie. Ulioth zombies will shake and emit a strange noise until they explode if you do not cut off their heads. For the most part, the puzzles in this game do not take a lot of brain power. Right here, the sun is in the center, therefore the only candle that must be lit is in the center. Really just mimicry, not a lot of intense thinking.
To combat the lack of ingenuity in the puzzles in this game, there is the introduction of the sanity meter. And the constant effects of a low sanity meter are tilting floor, crying voices, there are sometimes howling and knocking, but there are other sanity effects that uh, are random and do not always appear or appear at different places. Here we have stumbled across some Mantarok zombies. They are all we saw last chapter since we didn't have a current alignment at the time. They are small, shriveled, and I kind of think it's an ego blow for him to be the most powerful but have the weakest zombies. The zombies aligned with Chaturga, like the one you see here, regenerate limbs, have more health than the others, and they either look like they have no skin or they're made out of bacon. Elliot does not yet have a projectile weapon, so I do suggest picking this one up. A secret passage in the temple. Here are the Zelototh zombies. Even after chopping off their arms and heads, they can still drain your sanity and swing at you with phantom limbs. There are times when you have the opportunity to save a defenseless character. Some will be able to help you if you save them. If you murder them yourself, you will lose sanity. Melee weapons are probably the best choice in this game. There's no need to reload, plus you have a much easier time severing limbs. Each character has a different amount of time that they can run before needing to stop to catch their breath. The amount of time you run in the level is directly proportional to how long it will take you to regain your stamina.
When two creatures of different alignments meet, they will fight. It's definitely the best idea to just run away. Um, or you can stand here and watch Chaturga womp these Zelta zombies. He's, uh, he's doing pretty good here. to feeding on flesh and bone, Mantarok. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. destiny to fight the eternal darkness. I give you a gift in return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold one of Mantarak's hearts. The essence of a corpse god. The summit is a source of great power. From those people, you must defend it. Lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. Guard it well. Yeah, um, thanks a lot, game. Really creative puzzle. Putting a bar in a hole. Thanks a lot for that. While the camera angle in this hallway leaves a lot to be desired, the fact that this crusher kills these zombies is really nice. <laughs> Our first sanity effect was a very simple one. And now to make the trek back to Mantarok's room.
Mantarok, the creator of the Tome of Eternal Darkness, an all-powerful god, has become powerless. Again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors <coughs> of oblivion. At the end of every character, there is a puzzle to complete that mimics the puzzles you are completing in the chapter page. Your presence is welcome, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. He lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Shaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence, it is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard-pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one, then the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we read our next chapter page.